Howdy doodly do, hello everybody, welcome back to Ginger Ninja Gaming, I'm Ginger Ninja 1251, also known as Malo. Welcome to the Malo Merry Christmas Complete Series. But, you may be wondering why I'm not talking about the game right now, even though it is playing on your screen. That is because my computer, hereby named Bluey McBlue Screen, is... Uh, I recorded an hour. blue screen. And I lost the audio because I record the video with my laptop and the audio with my computer. That way if one of them fails, I have 50-50 chance of something. Which is why this is this time I'm going... I don't know what I'm going to do. Basically I've ordered the computer. Uh, yeah. During the Christmas period? It will be... <laughs> Basically, my new computer is coming uh, soon. Uh, soon. No. By the time this video has gone out, I will most likely have already had this computer. My new computer in its setup. Now, I've only got half an hour. I've only got one hour of footage, which means well, two episodes. But that's two more than I originally have because I've got up to episode seven done, and now I've got up to nine. To make that work that out of my head just to make sure the math actually works out. So, what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to try and soldier on with videos um, and blow it blue screen. But this video, well, it's different. I thought about, you know, voicing over being funny, but I decided I'm going to do this intro and then I'm going to split it in half and speed it up. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to speed it up. I'm going to edit it so it's uh, watchable, I guess. Um, so I'm going to have all the cutscenes, normal, but where it's not a cutscene, basically I'm going to forward the speed up. Um, just to make it a bit more watchable. I mean, if I'm clever enough, I might be able to get four episodes out of this, however, I don't think so. Uh, I might, hopefully I'll be lucky to get two. So yeah, um, sorry for the inconvenience this course, but, I mean, most likely you probably, I don't know, uh, this will go out on the 7th. Yeah, you might have seen the um, video review of my new computer already. Come on! Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, keep, keep watching even, and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully it, next time it will work. Um, I think from now on until my new computer arrives, I'm just going to use the Elgato software to record my audio, that way I don't have to do any syncing, um, and it's easier, but that way it's either, it's a lot more difficult to edit I think. I guess. But anyway, that's that. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mix. Got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Try to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt <coughs> is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. 
This ain't nothing to do with you. Hey. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. They're untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All righty, my guardian angel, this way. Come on, then. Beauty.
set. Hey, John. Hey, partner. You what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized. You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses weren't no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella. I never liked him. They say he played with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I know. Now, sis, let him die. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Let's go!
end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> it's just gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> God damn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> you stupid liars. You stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye. <laughs> it's a glass eye. <laughs> Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Some dead man's treasure ain't dumb to no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. <laughs> 